All right, I got the tanks game yesterday. I read through the rules, um, got everything organized. And so I decided, you know, I'm just going to play a game against myself just to kind of see how the game plays. Uh, so what I decided to do was just play the beginning scenario in the back, which is one panther against the two Shermans. So I set up the battlefield as they showed in the back of the book. It's a three by three playing field. And what we've got is, and I'm going to kind of turn it down here so you can see, get that kind of zoomed in a little bit. What we've got is, well, it's kind of glary, isn't it? We've got um, a panther. And it basically has initiative of seven, uh, five attack dice, two defense dice, and six hit points. Um, Blitzkrieg, there's a way you can do a repair roll to get rid of some damage. Well, not so much damage, but things that are inoperable on your tank. Uh, this one can instead just make a single move. And what also comes with it is this crew member, Ernst Barkman. And so if this tank does not score an uncanceled hits or critical hits with its first attack, uh, make another attack. So it's a one-shot deal on that one because it's the first attack. And then for the rest of the game, this tank may attempt to repair while using, while moving also. So it can do both. So that's what he allows. And his opponent are going to be these two Shermans. Uh, there's no, no special crew with them. They're both the same. Um, so with the Sherman, it's 75 millimeter gun, so it's not as strong. It's got initiative six, so it's not as good as initiative as the Panther. Four attack dice, not as good. One armor, not as good, but it has the same number of hit points. Uh, they got the gung-ho rule, which basically means when they move, they count it as moving one less when figuring defense dice, and I'll go over what that means. And so, to tell these two Shermans apart, one will have the bull token next to it, and the other one will have kind of this fist. And so I will mark their cards with this is this Sherman and this will be out in the field. So we know which is which. And so that's it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get set up uh, and then we'll continue the game. All right, everybody's set up for the game. Uh, the Panther's in its corner. The two Shermans are in their corner. There's three uh, steps to a turn. There's the movement step, shooting step, and the maintenance step. And so we're gonna start with the movement step. And how you move, decide who's gonna move is by initiative. This one has a seven initiative. So you can see it right there. So it has a seven initiative. This one has a six. So it has a lower initiative than the Panther. That means unless something changes, the Shermans always have to move if they're gonna move before the Panther decides it's going to move. So I'm going to go ahead and move the Sherman. And kind of how it works is you have this arrow. So there's no tape measuring, move six inches or whatever. You just put this arrow up against the tank. Where do you want to move it? And, ha and then what you do is there's this corner here and your tank has to kind of sit in that corner properly. It can't be turned, it can't be at an angle. So it's gonna sit there. Do you wanna face in that way? Or you can have it that way, or turn it around. So there's four different directions you can face your tank when you decide where you wanna go. He wants to go up into these woods. So he's gonna move once. Tanks can move twice unless they're a fast tank. Then they can move three. So he's, I'm gonna keep, that's that token so I know which card it belongs to. And then I have to mark it with a two. This little marker here says two on it. That means it moved twice. This one, it's going to, I think it's going to want to go around and try to flank the panther. So it's going to go one, two, and I have to put a two on that one. So the Shermans are done moving. The panther sees what they do and he goes, hmm, I think I want to go up in the woods and get a nice shot there. So it's going to go one, two, put a two token on it. We are done with the movement step. Uh, we now go to the shooting step. 
And how this, how you decide who's going to shoot first is initiative order again, but reverse. Whoever has the highest initiative shoots before those with the lower initiative. So this has a seven. This has a six. So this is going to shoot before the Shermans shoot. So the Shermans move, it moves, it shoots, they shoot. Now you also have to have line of sight. Buildings will block line of sight, so you can't see through a building. But if you see the, any part of the tank, except for the gun, uh, you can shoot at it and you can go from where the gun's mounted at. Uh, destroy tanks will block line of sight. Woods is a little strange in that it's got little special rules that if you're in the woods, you can see all the way around you, but you can be seen. If you're on the other side of the woods from somebody else, so some that Sherman's up in the woods there and they're trying to look through this woods and he's on the other side, they cannot see each other. Well, he's in the woods, that's in the woods, they can see each other. There's nothing else blocking line of sight. The trees don't count because you can move them out of the way. It's just to show that there's woods there. Got this building here. He cannot see through the building, so he cannot see that Sherman. And if that Sherman was further back, he wouldn't be able to see it because it's on the other side of the woods. So how do you attack? Well, the panther gets to shoot, and it's going to shoot that Sherman in the woods. Basically, unless something special comes up, this will never change. He's always going to roll five dice for an attack. It's defense dice that will get modified. And you just need four, five, or six. So he rolls, and he gets a five and a six. So those are gone. Okay. He hit it twice, but did he do any damage? So Sherman gets to roll its defense. So it gets one, that's what that little shield is. He gets one die for that. Then you looked at how did each of them move? How did the one shooting move and how did the target move? Well, he moved twice, so that's gonna give him two defense dice. He moved twice, so it's gonna give him two defense dice. Because he moved, he's not gonna be as accurate. And because he moved, he's not a setting target. Then he's in the woods, so he gets one die. So four, five, or a six. And he gets a six. Wow, everything else was horrible. All right. Now, how you nullify hits is that if it's a four or five down here, so say this was a five, the attacker decides which die is going to be removed. When it's a six on the defender, the defender decides which die is going to be removed, and he's going to take that critical hit off. So that leaves just a regular hit. So what we do is we take... Uh, you can either mark off these dots with the dry erase marker or for ease of letting you see what's going on, I'm going to use these tokens. So he's taking, he's taking one damage. And again, this is the one with the fist. All right, so the Sherman now is going to shoot back. It has four attack dice. Nothing's really going to modify that. Rolls. Wow. Four, four, five, six. Woo. How many defense dice does this get? Well, he gets two to start off with. <coughs> then he gets two because he moved two, so he's a harder target hit. The Sherman moved two, and you would think, oh, he gets two dice. No. Remember, he's got that gung, gung ho maneuver that when figuring out defense die for who he's shooting at, you count one less. So he's got like a little stabilizer deal going. So he only gets one defense die for him moving two, but he is in the woods, so he gets another defense die. So looking for four, fives, and sixes. All right, we got, wow, he rolled really good too. I never rolled as good in the game. So this is the four, so the attacker decides which of these dice is going to get rid of the four. Well, he'll just take the four, take care of the four. These are sixes, so the defender decides he's going to take that critical hit off. He's going to take that one off, and that one, the shot bounced. So it was really good rolling on both sides on that one. The other Sherman can't shoot, so we're going to take the movement token. Oh, we go two maintenance phase. Uh, nobody's got any special, you can't get rid of these unless some card says so otherwise, but there may be some things like uh, it's repairable, and we may get to that with a critical hit. Uh, that's where you take care of it here. Four plus gets rid of it. Uh, but he does have uh, Blitzkrieg, which means he can make another move here during this step that the Americans can't. And you know what? He's just going to sit there. So we take the 
movement tokens off, and then it's going to be the Sherman's turn to move again. So take that off, and that. He's not going to move, and you'll find out why he doesn't want to move. So this one's going to go one, two, working his way around. Put a two on there. Don't put any movement token on him. There's no zero movement tokens I've seen, so it's just going to stay like that. And the panther, it doesn't want to move. So the panther gets to shoot first. He's going to shoot at Sherman again. Five dice. Nothing really modifies. Defense roll is what gets modified. And he got four hits. Wow, he did really good. All right. One defense die. Nobody moved. So no special, no defense dice there, but he does get the wood. So this time the Sherman only gets two defense dice. He rolled a three and a one, so everything's going through. Okay, first of all, one, two, three. They are not sixes, so that means three hits go through. So this is taking, taking four hits. This is a critical. Now we're going to see what critical does. When you roll a critical, a six that goes through, you don't put a damage token on. Instead, you draw one of these cards, and it's going to tell you what damage you do and if you do any other special effects. So let's see two damage to this tank and nothing else happens so we'll discard that two more damage and guess what he just destroyed that tank now tanks are not destroyed until the end of the maintenance step so this tank still gets to shoot so it's going to get its last dying shot off here and he got two hits now because he didn't move he can re-roll all his attack dice. Does he want to re-roll those? Well, this is his dying thing. He's, he wants at least three hits. So he's hoping. And nope, he's still only got two. But one is a critical if the German doesn't do too well. So two normal defense dice. Nobody moves, so nobody gets added, but he isn't cover. So he only gets three defense dice. And failed. Wow. He failed everyone. This is what the Sherman wanted, and one of those is a critical hit. So four or fives just turn into damage, so he takes one from that. But a six is draw a card and see what happens, and it is two damage also. So no special deals there. So um, this does say a two on it, but I'm, we're going to pretend like it's one so it's easier to count there how many damage he's done. So he's done three, two. The, this is already halfway through its hit points. Now we go to the maintenance step. Nobody's got any... Um, things that are possibly repairable. He could move. Um, I don't think he wants, you know what, he kind of does want to move. He wants to turn his face that way because that Sherman's coming around. So he's going to face that way. This way it won't count against his movement. He can reroll his hits. Uh, we got, now we can destroy the Sherman. So this Sherman is now destroyed and it blocks line of sight. But in the woods and way over there, it's not going to matter. All right, now we're ready for a new uh, step here, or a new turn. So I'm going to take the two movement off this. He is still going to work his way around. Um, if he goes here, he should be concealed and be harder to hit. All right. So he's going to get a concealed shot because the buildings are blocking some of him, but the panther's also going to be concealed. Uh, basically, range of the weapons is the whole table. The panther's not going to move. The Sherman, I have to put this down, it moved one. And I don't need that anymore because there's only one Sherman left. All right, so the panther gets to attack first. Five dice. Needing four, five, sixes. He hit three times. I do not think he wants to re-roll it. He didn't move, so he could re-roll all of them. It's not the misses. He has to re-roll all the dice. He's going to keep that. Sherman has one normal defense. He moved one. This one didn't move, so nothing, but he is concealed. So four, five, six. All right, so now we got a special situation here. Five. He just, the attacker decides to take that one. This is six. If this was a six, he would take it off, but it's not gonna matter, so there we go. So one hit got through on that Sherman. The Sherman's gonna shoot back with its four dice. 
and hit twice, and they are both criticals. He cannot reroll because he did move. So defense dice, normally two. The Sherman moved one, but because they have Gung Ho, they considered to be moving one less, which is zero. So no added defense dice. He is in the woods, though. And he got a four and a six. That's going to nullify those two dice. So nothing happened to the Panther. Maintenance step. Nobody needs to do any maintenance. Oh, I forgot. Uh, at last turn, I should have taken these cards that were to discard, and they get shuffled back in. I forgot to do that. So let me shuffle these up. Because criticals can come back around. If it's something that's repairable, it stays on the tank. You don't shuffle it back in until it does get repaired. So there we go. So the Sherman, um, it's concealed. It can still move and be a hard target to hit. But it doesn't affect uh, hitting him. So um, he's thinking about moving up here to keep concealed. He's actually going to have to move a little bit further over like this. And it's considered a one move, but for defense dice on the opponent, it's considered a zero move. So Sherman seemed to want to move a lot. He's not going to move because he wants his rerolls. So five dice, Panther's going to attack Sherman. Five, five dice, four, five, or six to hit. That was cocked. Okay. He hit twice. He can re-roll this. He's going to. He wants three hits on the Sherman. If he can get it. Oh, my. Good re-roll. He got four hits on the Sherman. Okay, Sherman. One normal. It moved. One. It's concealed. And it gets only saved one. But because he rolled a six, he's going to take that critical off. So three hits get through. The Sherman. One, two, three has two hit points left. The Panther has three. Sherman now gets to shoot and missed. And because it moved, even though that's like gung-ho says one less, that's only on defense dice of the target. So he totally whiffed and missed. We go to maintenance now. Nobody's got any cards on him for criticals. So we go to movement. The Sherman wants to keep moving. So, he's going to move up here to stay concealed and try to take away the, uh, so it's harder for him to hit, but it doesn't affect his shot on the panther. Okay, panther's going to shoot. He can re-roll these because he didn't move. And Wow, yeah, he's going to re-roll. He hit nothing. Now, oh my gosh, four sixes. <laughs> Okay, Sherman, one normal. It moved one, and it's concealed. It only got one six, so it's going to nullify one of those. The others go through. Uh, normally, it'd be three hits on the Sherman, but we go to the cards. One damage, and it gains uh, the assault gun rule, which I will go into. It just can't turn its turret. So this is repairable, so that goes down next to that card. And it took one damage. So one more hit, and this Sherman is out. There it is, two damage. And the third would have been, oh, no damage. But this tank is minus two attack. So he'd lose two dice on his next attack and discard after shooting. Now, let's pretend... Okay, that's there's no special effect on that one, so I just discarded. Uh, that was just a two damage, but there's nothing up here that special happened. Okay, so let's say this Sherman, it's, it's destroyed. I mean, let me just do this. Boom. So the Panther wins. They got him down half hit points. Oh, he's... They get to attack back. So it's not over. It's not over. He, he may come back and win or tie. But I want to... Let me do that. I'm getting ahead of myself. Um, tanks, even if they get destroyed, can still shoot. It's at the maintenance step, just like that one, at the maintenance step, that's when it gets destroyed. So he's going to get his four attack dice. So he has a chance, if he gets a critical and does enough criticals, he might be able to take this out. If he gets three of these through and no defense, he could take it out. So he rolls. He got two hits. Uh, unless this rolls really bad, the Panthers should be okay. So two normal. 
It is concealed. He normally would get one bonus die for it moving, but the Sherman has their special rule. So he has three dice for defense and rolled a four and a six, which is going to nullify those two hits. So it did survive. All right, now let's pretend the Sherman did survive and it's got these two things that say repairable. On the maintenance step, you can try to get rid of one of these. I think what he'll want to get rid of is the minus two dice on the attack. So how you do that is, on the maintenance step, you take one die, four, five, or six gets rid of it, four, it's gone. So it's no longer there, but he still has this one, and next turn he can try to get rid of that. In the maintenance step, whatever's in the discard pile of these critical hits gets shuffled back in, and then you go to the next step. So. That's how this game is played. Ooh, there is one with a three. <laughs> Since Sherman could have got that. Um, I think there's going to be a lot more tactics involved when you get more tanks in playing. This was just a 40-point game. Uh, I think like 100 points might be what you're trying to aim for. You could play less or more is what you want to play. But I think if you get more tanks, you don't want to go overboard because you only have so much room here. Uh, but just having one tank, your, your options, your tactics are going to be limited compared to having two tanks or three. So that is how you play tanks. That's a pretty interesting little game. Well, if you like this video or any of the others I've done, go ahead and subscribe and share with other people. And as always, have a good game.